It's so nice to have a friend when things are great and when things are awful because we have each other to like <laughs> lean on in the hard times and that's so important. For better or worse, Grace Lee and Monica Ashour have been best friends for years. We met in our 20s in New York City. We instantly became friends and then it was like every Sunday brunch with Grace and Mon um, and never in our wildest dreams did we think that we would start a company together, um, but look at us now. <laughs> That company, Ferdy Gray, known for its $99 bridesmaid's dress, selling directly to consumers online. It all started with Grace, who spent more than a decade working in fashion and beauty before launching the business in 2017. Tell me how the idea came about. I had been a bridesmaid six times, the first time in my 20s when I was living in New York City, completely broke. And I realized that the bridesmaid's dress shopping experience through time had not changed. It was still very painful to buy dresses. It was still very much a brick and mortar experience. What I really set out to do was bring affordable bridesmaid's dresses online, making it flexible and really fun to shop. With some financial help from her parents and siblings to take that initial plunge, Grace bootstrapped the operation, shipping dresses and fabric samples from her living room floor. People want to see fabric swatches and colors before they buy the dress, and so we were cutting up real dresses to send out fabric swatches. It was a very, very scrappy operation. You know, I built the website on Shopify by myself. I'm not a developer. I had no knowledge of how to build a website, and so we were very, very scrappy in the first year. After that first year, Grace popped the question to Monica, asking her to join the company. Grace is extremely creative and she understands our target customer like the back of her hand. On the flip side, I feel like I'm kind of the person who thinks about a lot more about like the numbers and the strategy and the operations in the back. So I think that combination actually works really, really well. To date, Bertie Gray has sold almost 1 million bridesmaid dresses. The dresses vary in silhouette to flatter a range of figures from extra small to 3X. Plus, they send customers three fabric swatches for free to help choose the perfect color. Over the years, Bertie Gray has added more products including shoes, jewelry, bridal party gifts, groomsmen accessories, and so much more. In 2021, Grace walked down the aisle herself, and her bridesmaids, including Monica, wore Bertie Gray, of course. Our underlying value is friendship. It's like that most special day often for a friend and her asking me to be a bridesmaid is sort of the biggest honor. So what advice do you have for women out there who have an idea and have a best friend who also has an idea and wants to start a business? I say go for it. I think it's really important to be very clear with your partner who's going to own what piece. Like I mentioned earlier, I think Mon and I, like our dynamic really works because there's not any redundancy in what we bring to the table. You can get really intimidated if you think about all the steps and involved like fundraising to setting up your supply chain. I think getting some proof of concept in a really scrappy bootleg way is a great way to learn a ton, learn about your customer, um, and to give you the confidence to then actually go out and raise money or do what you need to do to start building your team. One bridesmaid at a time. Exactly. <laughs> well, six um, bridesmaids you know at a time. <laughs> <laughs> and Grace and Monica also realized that a lot of times bridesmaids' dresses are only worn once, although yeah. we have an example right here of ones that have been worn twice, so we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> they also encourage their customers to donate their dresses to the Princess Project, which mm. provides prom dresses for oh. teens. I oh. love that. Sure. And then we also have examples of some of their other products here because yeah. as they said, they realize that once you get the dresses, sure. the men need the ties, you oh. want comfortable shoes mm. and bow ties. So they've really nailed the market. But we were saying, we were talking about everyone's bridesmaids. Yeah. You said Deborah's bridesmaids wore their dresses well, again. A couple again. of my sister and I think uh, her friend Eugenia wore them again. It's such a great idea. It's a new trend. I mean, when I got married, that wasn't the trend. So those dresses, that was a wrap. I mean, you, it was a one <laughs> It was, it was beautiful, but it was like sash. I mean, it was old yeah. school. It's like 1982 call. Um, but <laughs> now, like at my sister's wedding, I think it might have been this company because we. I remember getting the swatches, and we oh. all thought it was mm -hmm. so cool that you could, you know, it wasn't as very expensive. cool, yeah. right? And it's one dress that you can pick if somebody likes strapless or somebody right. likes halter. And you I know said, they're the same color. Yeah, and I said then you throw on a leather jacket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it works. So, yeah. or you could it. donate. So it's a, it's just a beautiful great and, idea. Yeah, and they're they're really expanding their business and really nice, kind, good, hardworking. Yeah, they were awesome. All right, they well, made thank it. Thank you so much. It was so great. <laughs>
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.